You know, the actions of the people in Pakistan are a wonderful antidote to what's happening down the road in Saudi Arabia, where the Court of Appeal has sentenced Sheikh Saleh al Talib, um, a prominent imam and preacher in Mecca uh, at the Grand Mosque. He's been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Um, apparently, uh, he'd already been charged um, in the criminal court, but they decided to acquit him. Uh, but the Court of Appeal overturned that uh, acquittal and um, they've banged up the 48-year-old preacher uh, to 10 years in prison. Um, I don't even know what he's supposed to have done um, apart from calling out evil in public. I mean, isn't that what an imam is supposed to do? Tell Muslims to rise up and stand up against evil? Well, I mean, Saudi Arabia under Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman has arrested dozens of preachers since the summer of 2017. You know, when there was that argy-bargy going on with all the Gulf states. And a lot of imams were calling for reconciliation. Well, <laughs> they still remain in prison. Um, and I, I don't know, it just gets me so mad. Um, I'm still livid by that US toady president, Joe Biden and his matey fist bump with um, MBS. Uh, apparently these masters of the universe uh, met just a couple of weeks ago and were talking about oil and human rights. Ah, balderdash. Um, two days after sleepy Joe Biden uh, sloped back off to Washington, a Saudi judge dished out the longest ever prison sentence to a peace activist and women's rights campaigner. And all she'd done was post a few critical tweets about the regime. And, and she gets this 34 year sentence for these critical tweets. You know, if this had happened to Salma al-Shahab in Afghanistan, there would have been global headlines, weighty statements coming out of uh, the UN from the Secretary General, no doubt. But the draconian sentence in Saudi Arabia has only drawn a muted response. And it, it just really makes my blood boil. I mean, there is uh, Biden, who quite rightly uh, vented his spleen over the brutal attack on novelist Salman Rushdie, and he was lecturing us all about free speech. And in fact, Biden actually said, these are the building blocks of any free and open society. And today we reaffirm our commitment to those deeply held American values in solidarity with Rushdie and all those who stand for freedom of expression. Grand words from the US president. But what did he say about Salma al Shahab's right to freedom of expression? Nada. Absolutely nothing. Zero, zilch, nothing. Where does the so-called free world's most powerful man stand on her 34-year uh, sentence? He's silent. Zip, throw away the key. When it comes to women's rights, Biden has plenty to say about Afghanistan but nothing to say about the brutal sentences that are being meted out to women in the Saudi state, a state which claims to be progressive on women's rights. More lies. And um, I still don't know anything more about my dear friend, Dr. Ahmed Farid Mustafa, who, you know, he's 84 years old, uh, uh, 
great engineer and architect who was snatched by Saudi security forces in Ramadan 2020 from his home in Medina. I've just not seen or heard from him since. Come on, Mohammed bin Salman. Do you know how weak you look locking up women and old men? Get a grip before it's too late.